beautiful Newport Beach, California. The tennis club in Newport Beach, the site for the PPA Takea Showcase, and we've reached the men's pro singles semifinals. The chalk has really carried in this bracket today. You, you don't always see the chalk get all the way to the finals, but we had one four in the other semi as Ben Johns defeated Hunter Johnson, and you got two three here as Tyson McGuffin taking on Jay DeVillier, and uh, neither McGuffin nor DeVillier lost a single game in their three matches so far today. 3-0 in terms of matches, 6-0 in terms of games. Uh, at Devillier, the, the most points he gave up in any one game today was five. So he's been fantastic. McGuffin did have one game that went to 11-9, but other than that, he's been dominant as well. So you got, you got a couple of uh, uh, Im immovable objects here that are going to meet brute force in this match. Yeah, and, and both these guys had a good showing last week at Indian Wells. They're coming off good performances. They're confident. And, and these are fun guys to watch. Tyson McGuffin is the most exciting person in this game. Uh, and, and Jay DeVillier is getting better every week. I mean, if you look back from where he was a year ago till now, his trajectory is just going up and up and up, and, and hopefully we'll get some good points here in a close match. And you know what's great about both these guys, and I know you know both of them. I've had a chance to, to talk to both of them. They just couldn't couldn't be better guys to be able to talk to. They're both the kind of guy that you'd like to go sit and just have a, have a beverage with and just be able to kick it back and, and shoot the breeze. Absolutely. I, I was in Idaho earlier this year, and I got to go actually visit Tyson at his house. I did his podcast there from his house. Uh, we went out and played afterwards, but just so much fun to hang around. So full of energy. The way you see him on the court is how he is off the court. The guy just wakes up and it, and it appears that he's had about 10 espresso shots and he's just ready to go. Yeah, and Tyson, I mean, the story's been told many times. He's a uh, high school wrestler and, you know, he, he's kind of got that WWE mentality when he comes onto the pickleball court. Yeah, just look at him. I mean, he's the only guy wearing, that I know of, wearing sleeves, but he's just got the entire look with the with the clothes, the hair, the, the tattoos, and it's just, uh, you know, you don't have to be a pickleball fan, and if you come out and watch this guy, you're going to be entertained. And, you know, you and I talked uh, during the timeout earlier. I mean, for the longest time, I think people knew Ty of Tyson mostly as being, you know, the, the teammate of Riley Newman, but there's no question Tyson is, has emerged from Riley Newman's shadow. Riley's still fantastic as well, but T uh, Tyson now, he, he has taken the spotlight for himself. Totally agree, and, and I know, you know, Ben Johns is a, uh, a unicorn and very dominant in this sport, but in my opinion, Tyson is the face of this sport right now. He is the most well-known guy. He is, he's got the most character and, and he is the guy that I think most people want to watch at these events. Meantime, Jay DeVillier mentioned he is from originally from France and he's got a, a pretty good tennis background himself before making the transition to pickleball. And when you watch him play, do you, do you see any of his tennis background parlaying itself onto the pickleball court? You do a little bit. I watched him play my good buddy Wes Burroughs last week in Indian Wells, um, and they had a great three-set match. And Jay was hitting passing shots as well as anyone can hit a passing shot in pickleball. Um, you know, as you know, the, the court's small here. You've, it seems as if you've got about a foot on each side um, of the guy at the net to, to make your passing shots. And he's one of those guys that can paint the lines on the passing shot. And if you don't come in on a good ball, he's gonna he's gonna get it by you. Well, it should be a fun match. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, the only thing I'm going to predict on this one, I think we're going to see three games. <laughs> I'm going to predict at at least five times we're going to see Tyson McGuffin stick his chest out, <laughs> look to the crowd, and, and try to hype them up. Yeah, and whoever advances for this, how fun is it going to be on Sunday? I mean, Ben against either one of these two men, it will be must-see TV on Sunday on championship court. No, a a absolutely. And, and these... These three guys, especially uh, along with, you know, probably JW, you know, they're kind of the four big names in the singles. You see them, I feel like, week in, week out. They're in the semis, they're in the finals, or they're winning it. They're, their results are consistent, and they're amazing players. And I think that they've helped elevate the singles aspect of this sport as well, because when pickleball really first kind of started coming onto the forefront, at least as a televised sport, the, the singles matches I remember the first U.S. Open I did in 2016. There wasn't even any any of the singles matches televised. It was kind of a, an afterthought. Yeah, you know it has, and I and I do think singles for a lot of people it is more fun to watch on TV sometimes. And these guys have done a great job of making it fun, making it exciting. I think doubles is still the primary 
event that you want to dominate. I think a lot of people, if you ask them, would you rather be number one in the world in doubles or singles? I still think it's doubles, but singles is catching up at a rapid pace. And we are just about set to go here from Newport Beach, California. Dave Bent, Sam Query along with you. Glad you could be joining us on the coverage. And De Villiers will start this one with the serve. Game one, time in, zero, zero. Point. And a very quick start for Jay. Like I said, his passing shots are, they, they might be the strength of his game and he hits them as well or maybe one better than anyone in this sport. Tried to sneak one past Tyson there, but couldn't get it. So and couldn't catch up to that one. Kind of got caught in no man's land. He was a little bit too far back from the kitchen line. He did a great job of kind of neutralizing Tyson early and kind of getting back into a 50-50 rally, but then Tyson just hit a shot that was a little too good there. Point. And now McGuffin able to get on the scoreboard. Let's see, over under on number of shirts one, we one. see Tyson wearing in this match. I'm gonna go seven. <laughs> He does a wardrobe change more than anybody in pickleball, I believe. How great was that shot out of De Villiers? Yeah, that's, that was incredible. That's as good as a, a backhand volley as you're going to see in this game. Point. Tyson would like that one back. Two, one. Both these guys hit shots that you just sit there and you're like, they make it look easy. And it's like, that's not easy. That is a very difficult shot. And unlike tennis, when you hit a backhand volley in tennis, you, you, you know, you obviously you hold the grip a certain way. It's not the same way you'd hold the grip in pickleball. So that's one of the toughest parts, especially at this high level. You have one, to take two. your your grip that you've used in tennis for all these years and slightly One, kind of two. rotate it to more of an Eastern style grip in order to compete at this highest level. Again, Is great volley back behind McGuffin. You mentioned Indian Wells. McGuffin had to settle for bronze two, in Indian One. Wells. De Villiers did not medal. And Billy, I unable to catch up to that one. One, two. Nice defense by Tyson to keep it alive. And Devillier finally able to put it away. That defensive shot by Tyson about five shots ago. Hopefully they show in the replay here was was truly one of the best shots I've seen in this game. Two, one. That's the thing I think about pickleball that is different than tennis, right? I mean, Sam, you play tennis, you, you hit a shot that's a winner. On occasion, it's not a winner. But how many times in pickleball do you see a shot that, oh, that's going to be a winner? And it's not, it's not a winner. Right. Be because they've got that little thing in the middle called the kitchen, it's tough to put balls away. You know, you can't be right on top of the net and get the best angle possible. You know, you're back off the net there four or five feet, and it just makes for an exciting point, and it gives the uh, the defensive player just that little bit of extra time to make a play on the ball. Great control there by De Villiers. He pulls the paddle away at the last moment, thinking that's going to go out. Indeed, it does. And now De Villiers is going to build a modest two-point lead here in game one. Three, one. one. Make it a three-point lead. So I got to know what the Tyson McGuffin residence in Idaho is like. Four, one. <laughs> you know, it's remote, but a lot of places in Idaho are remote. <laughs> yes. Um, it's, I believe it was in Hayden, Idaho, right near Coeur d'Alene. It was this beautiful kind of 
house amongst you know 5,000 trees and he uh, you know I'm sure a lot of people who are, are listening or follow Tyson he's got a very popular podcast and he's got a great podcast studio at his house and I, I believe he has plans to build some pickleball courts in the back but it's a, a really cool place I don't think there's a lot of people for him to practice with there <laughs> but um, you know I, this tour there's a lot of stops along the way so i don't think he needs to practice a ton when he's home because he gets a lot of play on the road how about that shot right there or did they call it out i thought mcguffin I, caught the line but they did call it out just still good you could hit a good shot and miss Four, it so ten. that's one that was one of those it's a good shot just an inch wide yeah yeah i'm surprised there's not pickleball courts already there at, at tyson's place where so where did you guys go play if they, they I mean, gave if there's if it's so remote we played at a park near his house there was two, two courts there we went there and played um you know also i i think selkirk is there too and and they've got a, an indoor court but yeah we just went to a a park near his house that had two pickleball courts and and played for a while that's awesome the wind was blowing at about 80 miles an hour that day, so it made things a little tricky, but we still, we were playing doubles with two other guys, but we had some fun points. Four, two. Just two guys who happened to be at the court? Or no, two guys no, that you we, knew? It, we, yeah, we brought two guys along. I was going to no say, that would be court. not fair at all. <laughs> right. Side out. But no, I'm hoping, I'm hoping Tyson will play a doubles, a doubles event with me next year. That's, that's one of my goals for the 2023 season, team up with this guy for one event. Two, four. So two, four here. That's a point. Nice. Beautifully placed shot. Three, four. Just a little bit out of the reach of De Villiers. I got it. Side right on the line. Guffin, such a showman there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I'm just sitting and being Four, quiet three. just so I can hear, hear him going to town. Side and out. now back into the net, so Tyson's going to get it back. Three, four. Oh. Uh -oh. You felt like Tyson was in control that entire time, just had De Villiers on the string where he wanted him. Oh, yeah, moved right, left, back to the right. He had De Villiers in a yo-yo year. Yo-yo there. Say that five times fast. Yo-yo yeah, there. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that out. Side out. Four, four. Oh, Point. there's that passing shot you were talking about. It's, I've, I've only seen Jay play a handful of matches, but every one of those matches I play, he Five, seems to four. come up with passing shots on the forehand and backhand that are, are better than anyone in the game. And that's wide, so McGuffin will get it back. And this first game going kind of exactly the way that we thought four, it might. Five. Nip and tuck. Point. And tied again. Five, five. And then Jay Point. hits it deep. So McGuffin back in front. As you mentioned, there are so Six, many five. courts at this facility in Newport Beach. You know, don't let the don't let the crowd in the bleachers fool you. There are a ton of people at the tennis club in Newport Side Beach out. today for this tournament and no doubt we will see those stands more and more full uh, the closer we get to Sunday. Absolutely. And a, and a lot of people Five, don't realize it, but during these events, these PPA events or Nationals last week in Indian Wells, there's the pro level events going on, but then there's amateur level events at the at the same site here all the back courts that has you know they have thousands of people playing in these so um the, the pro aspect of this is almost like a small part of it when it uh when it comes down to it 
Well, and there's so many other things you can watch too, right? Like you can go see some great 12 year old taking on, you know, a 19 year old and like, hey, I want to watch six, this. Six. Exactly. And with Duper, the rating system, you know, if, you're, if your rating's a, a if you're 12 years old Point. and you're a 3.2, you can play an 80 year old with a 3.2 ranking and, you know, you should be about the same level right. and have a good match. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Seven, the PPA six. officially aligning itself with Duper now, which is great. Tyson trying to hit that finesse shot, but can't get it over the net. So Davillier gets the margin eight, back to two at eight six. That was one of those rare points in, in in men's singles where you have some dinks. Timeout being taken. We'll step aside for a moment. You're watching the PPA. Back in Newport Beach, California, Jay Davillier has taken. Time some in. control here eight, in game six. one. He's got Tyson McGuffin's back a little bit. Well, nearing the wall anyway. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was filthy. That's as good as it gets right there. That was unbelievable playing from Jay. And, uh, you know, Tyson's in a bit of a hole here. I think he can sense not only that Jay's winning this match, but that Nine, Jay six. is getting better week in, week out. And he's going to be one of the guys that he's going to have to battle, uh, you know, at every event point. moving forward. And now Jay has game points at 10-6. 10 6. 10 6, one minute. And Tyson is going to use a timeout. So if you're Jay Davillier, you couldn't have drawn this one up much better. But the, it, we all know that 11th point, Sam, that is the toughest one to get in a pickleball game. That's that's for sure. And Jay's going to need to get this first game, I think, to uh, to win this match. You know, Tyson is the more experienced player. He's had a lot. Uh, you know, he's had the better results. But if Jay can can close this one out, he's going to be in the driver's seat. And again, we mentioned the winner will move on to take on Ben Johns, who was victorious against Hunter Johnson earlier this afternoon in Southern California, a match that went to three games. Hunter Johnson uh, suffered an ankle injury in that third game when it was 2 nothing, and that ended up impacting the outcome of the game. You just hope Hunter's going to be okay for doubles play for the rest of the tournament. And after the timeout, De Villiers, game point number one. And they will have to wait as McGuffin staves off a game point. It's so tough to get the ball by Six, McGuffin. Ten. He's probably the best mover in this game. Point. And make it 7-10. 7-10. Seven, ten. Seven, ten. Jay puts that one away. So serve goes back over to, to Villiers. 10 7. And just like that, he gives it right back. So two game point opportunities and nothing to show for it for De Villiers. 7 10. How about Tyson? A animation for McGuffin. He was a little sluggish for him, I guess you would say, as far as chest bumps and, and shouts at the beginning of this match. It might have been due to the 100 pieces of sashimi he had at Nobu last night. I don't know if you <laughs> follow on Instagram, what, what but he was he was there eating away. He had, a, he had a platter out. I'm not exaggerating. There's probably 100 pieces on that. Well, I mean, 100 pieces of sa sa sashimi is, I think, everybody's dream, isn't it? <laughs> it looked pretty good. <laughs> I saw it clearly out, yes. Point. And Jay, they're trying to put politic and it's not nine, gonna ten. not gonna work. So this is the now nine, 10, three straight points for McGuffin. Trying oh to draw gosh. it even and make it Point. four straight points for McGuffin and we're at 10, 10 now. Yeah, Jay's not, those were four of the worst points I've seen Jay play this year. Side out. So it'll go back over to De Villiers now in an extra pickleball situation, needing to get at least to 12 to win this first game. And Jay was talking ten, to the umpire ten. there. I think the 10-9 point, I, I think Jay was claiming he wasn't ready for the serve. Oh, Tyson! 
Uh, if he was snoozing earlier, I think that the alarm clock has gone off. Yeah, like, and, and you see him right after this point. He knows right where the camera is. He looks right there, gives a scream. <laughs> and, uh, that, you know, that's what we love to see from him, though. That's, that's why he's so good for this game. Jay got Tyson leaning the wrong I'm way. I'm watching. So he'll get the serve back at 10-10. That was a great volley from Jay. Tyson went at him there, and he did a good job of, Jay's a, Jay's a big guy, he's probably 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, he did a good job of ten, getting his ten. body out of the way there and uh, getting uh, the paddle on the ball to get it by Tyson. Yeah. Side out. Tyson right back at you, and he looks right at the camera again. Now, Davillier waiting for the ball to come back. Ten, ten. Oh, what a shot oh, down the line by McGuffin. And now, Tyson will have his 11, first 10. game point. And that is game. McGuffin comes back from trailing 10-6 to win it 12-10. So Tyson McGuffin in the driver's seat. And he is going to have a chance to try and wrap this thing up in two games. Game two coming your way after this timeout from Newport Beach. Well, Tyson McGuffin, he did win gold at the start of the month at the PPA event in Dallas. And he's trying to see if he can make it two straight golds on the PPA tour with a, a victory in the tournament in Newport Beach. Comes back from down 6-10 in game one to take that game 12-0. And now De Villiers is going to get the serve to see if he can go in front early on here in game two. He made that volley look very easy right there. And the reaction time there was about one one hundredth of a second. Yeah, Jay's reaction time is zero, just zero. off the charts. Side Looked out. like a Rob Nunnery serve there. <laughs> Rob Nunnery is one of the best at fooling people with his serve, no question. It's a, it, But you, you brought up a good point earlier, Sam. You know, I mean, I think that's the next frontier, right? Like, how do we get to a point where zero, zero. the serve becomes a weapon uh, in... in pickleball the way that it, it has been over the years in tennis. Right, and it'll never get to the point, you know, where in tennis it's a huge weapon, but I, I do think zero, zero. Uh, there is room for these guys to go after the serve a little more, and we'll we'll see if that happens or not, but I think the game will, will head that way slightly, you know, Side never out. to a point where it's gonna, you're going to see aces, but to where we're going to see some more aggressive, uh, you know, serves for the starting point. Zero. Well, and we have seen the sport try to actually make sure that the serve doesn't become too overbearing. I mean, you think about last point. year, players were able to put that spin on it, and then right. that was eliminated because the whole point of pickleball is to be able to have have some volleys. That's, uh, but you know, I, I think there's a, a there's a, a sweet spot somewhere in between that can be found. I definitely think so, and and we'll see as the as the game gets going here. But it's. Um, Point. You know, I, I'm, I'm glad they're getting rid of the, the spin serves. Those were, were were fun to watch and play against occasionally, but I do think they're bad for, Two, they're bad for the sport. But I, And you're right. We don't want the serve to get so good where it takes away the points because that's part of the beauty for ten, for uh, for pickleball. You get these rallies Side sometimes out. that could be 8, 10, 12 shots long that are really exciting and really fun. Tavillier getting the serve back here down 0-2. Reserve. Yeah, that was... And going to be a let there Contact as he caught the high. net. So reserve. Reserve. Zero two. Ooh. Jay tried to catch up to that one. Yeah, just did catch the net as you see that serve Gentlemen. again. And with pickleball, you do have to have an upward motion on the on the serve. And Davillier is just at that line. And now. The official bringing the players together. This is where we need some sound on the official. Yeah. And I'm not sure what the discussion is. I, I almost wonder if they're they, they talking about De Villiers serve. Is he, is he getting enough Time of an upward in. motion on that serve? Two, zero. 
That's what they. Goal. That's indeed what they are saying. They're saying that it's an illegal serve. You have to have an upward motion on the serve. I was going to mention it from our angle that we're looking at. It appeared that it didn't have one. It seems like that's the correct call. Side yeah, out. And McGuffin hits it wide. And that's the thing, right? Like you're trying to find that line, right? You want to get you. Zero, you really two. would love to be able to hit it Three sideways, serve. but. It's, it's a reserve. I'm calling it on the height of the ball. Players, let's get back to playing. And Tyson doesn't think Jay's found the line. He's, he's so not happy with the serve that Jay serves. is offering. But, and Jay missed that serve there. Jay's making a... And, and so right there, that was an illegal serve that's called a replay, but he missed the illegal serve. Warnings. That should be a fault, in my opinion. You know There's no way you should be able to hit an illegal discussed. serve, miss it, and, and then get, get a to replay. serve again. That's, yeah. I'm 100% on, on Tyson's side that, here. That was a wild. The, the, rule, the rule is a reserve. 15 seconds, gentlemen. If that's the case, seconds. just hit an illegal serve every, every time, time. And, and hope they don't call it. Right. Where are we? The score is 0 2, and I will recall. 0 2. Or you should at least have a, a, a limit on how many illegal serves you can hit. Right. And, and you hit the uh, if you hit the illegal serve, One, do, you, 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 do you hit more than two in a game? Then it's an automatic side out. And i got to be honest with you, Sam. I've called a lot of pickleball matches. Side out. And, and I know that I've known the serve has to have an upward motion. I've never seen the Ill illegal serve get called like this before. I've never seen it get called either. But if it's uh, if he, if it is an illegal serve, I'm glad the umpire is calling it. That's what the umpire is there for. And if he sees it, he needs to call it. It is interesting that we were talking about the serve and then that happens. <laughs> it's almost, uh, crazy how that Point. How transition that was perfect. Comes into play. Yeah. There's some awkward tension in this Three, match one. now that you can feel through the camera even. Well, despite all of it, McGuffin building a lead Point. here now, up 4-1. He's just seven points away from punching his ticket to Championship Sunday. And no one gets around the backhand better than Tyson McGuffin in this game. You rarely oh, see him one. hit a backhand. He'll hit forehands from five feet off the side of the court over there and hit him well. He hits him inside out, inside in. It's, uh, it's an amazing shot that he's got. McGuffin at 5-1. You also wonder, you know, how much five, one. the illegal serve could get into De Villiers' head, right? Because now when he when he does serve, he's got to be thinking about it. Exactly. And usually in, in pickleball in all sports, quite frankly. Oh! oh, oh. oh. How did Tyson <laughs> get to that? Jay hit that ball and he just walked back, not thinking Tyson was going to be there. And he actually got there pretty easily. I mean, uh, Jay definitely thought the point was over. Point. And McGuffin absolutely rolling now. It's a, it's a perfect storm for McGuffin. He's got Seven, as one. much momentum as you can have, and Jay seems to be checked out here almost, almost to a, to a point. Yeah, he's he's completely checked point. out as you saw in that volley there. Eight, one. A huge lead for McGuffin. And McGuffin now putting out a clinic. Yeah. I'm gonna can I can I walk back Time my prediction about three games? Nine one, one minute. Too late now. And what but we're also we're also well under on the shirt change by McGuffin. He's right. uh, he suddenly made this one look kind of easy. He's a fan of the lime green. You don't you see you don't see Jay come off the rails like that. And uh, he, but he's lost his composure right now in Newport Beach. We're stepping aside back with more of this men's pro singles after this. Well, Tyson McGuffin in the driver's rain. seat and then some right now against Time Jay Devillier as it unraveled quickly for Devillier. And Side McGuffin out. into the net. So Devilliers going to get the serve back, but he's got a steep hill to climb right now. One nine. 
Ooh, got McGuffin guessing wrong there. He held that one nicely and at the last minute kind of went inside out with it. Two, nine. Good was that? That was at no point that I think he had any room to go that to, to take that ball down the line, but he found a, a small sliver and landed right on the line. All right, so consecutive points here for De Villiers. And McGuffin says enough Sign of that. by De Villiers, McGuffin able to cover a lot of ground. Finally, De Villiers puts it away, but McGuffin made him work. And we always talked on the tennis tour, we'd, we'd watch pickleball highlights because it was one of the things we, we loved doing in the locker room. And we always compared Tyson's movement Time to receiver. Djokovic's movement. Three, nine, the way he moves around the court's pretty incredible and it's fun to watch. And his conditioning is, uh, I, I don't know if there's a better conditioned pickleball player than Tyson McGuffin. That's true, and he, and he lets you know about it on Instagram. He will put those <laughs> videos up and he, he'll, he'll show off the movement. And we, we also used to joke on the tour, the more content you put out of you working out, the less you actually worked out. Well, <laughs> there's probably something to be said <laughs> for that. Having worked in the NBA for 10 years, I think a lot of NBA people feel the same way. Oh, you're putting up to, you know, you know and then they always put up all the, you know, when they made 10 threes in a row, how many, how many did you right, miss in exactly. a row before you got that 10 in a row makes? See Davilia getting replay of him getting working as well. So out of the timeout here, Davilia still in a big hole at 3-9 and trailing one game to none. Time in, 3-9. Side out. And now McGuffin will get it back. Nine three. Quick hands by both yes. players, Point. but quicker hands by McGuffin. It's so rare you see a quick exchange and singles go past maybe two, three shots, but we got about six there. And now we have match point number one for McGuffin. Side out. De Villiers not done yet. Three, ten. Smart decision by Tyson to get out of the way. So this will take us to match point number two. 10 3. It's going to be just wide. He had him there. Tyson did a good job of freezing Jay and working the angle. Just missed it a couple inches wide. 3 10. Point. Oh, De Villiers has rolled off three straight points here. Four, ten. Oh, McGuffin is going to get it back and match point opportunity number three now for Tyson. Ten, four. And the third Point try is the charm match. for McGuffin. He'll take game two, 11-4, and wins the match 12-10, for me. You know who he's looking at right now, but I he's, love every second of what he just did. Yeah, uh, I don't know if he's finding another camera or if he's got a friend out there in the in the crowd. It might be just no one. He could be looking at a building right now. Just <laughs> let him know it's his house. <laughs> 
Oh, you gotta love it. McGuffin puts on a show, Newport Beach, California. 39 pickleball courts at the tennis club in Newport Beach. And man, it's been a fun start to this week in sunny Southern California. Well, welcome back everyone to center court. Here is Tyson McGuffin. Tyson, that was a close match to start. You went down, it looked like you were gonna lose game one, and then you came back and won a definitive game two. What was that flip-flopping? Let's give a hand to Jay here. Jay's my guy, so uh, it's kind of crummy. I got I to play with this guy uh, on Saturday. He's my boy. He's like a brother to me, and uh, this is the first time this stuff has happened. So all good, though. Um, yeah, I feel like I served uh, exceptionally well, as, uh, as we all kind of dealt with there. It was a little messy. Um, found the forehand, fought well, played the big points. Uh, exceptionally well and uh, happy to be moving on and looking for the same result that I had at Texas Open, baby. I'm a, I'm a brand new man here. Well, yeah, talking about the serve, there was some question of the legality of the contact point of the serve. Can you walk the people at home through that? It's my first time uh, it, being in a position where uh, somebody was questioning me on my serve and then obviously he was kind of flirting with serving a little higher himself. He was missing serves, and then he was allowed to reserve. That rule has to be changed. I mean, for gosh sakes, what is going on out here? Anyhow, uh, definitely not a fan of it. It needs to go away. I'm going to talk to Don Stanley right now uh, because, uh, I mean, it's not fair that somebody can just serve from 2 o'clock and miss serves and it, just get to reserve. So change the rule. <laughs> Always something raw and real from Tyson McGovern right here. Tyson, talking about Sunday, you're going to see that rematch against Ben Johns. You took him down at the Texas Open just a few weeks ago. Are we going to see another upset? For sure. Um, definitely. I, uh, I'm, I'm feeling dangerous right now. I'm re-inspired. I got to go little people. I, gotta, I have a lot of good people around me. I have my trainer, I have my wife, um, some other health coaches. And so last couple of weeks, been playing a lot different. Um, not over-respecting the top guys. I'm kind of bringing a little delusion and putting myself way up here. Also, some uh, key words and some self-talk goes a long way. So um, I'm coming in hot come Sunday. All right. Thanks, Tyson. Dave.